Hi everyone, welcome back to another Orient Outreach. My name is Amanda Porton and I'm joined here by Lloyd Co. of Ed's Broadway Gift and Costume Shop. You got it. Thank yeah. you for joining us. <laughs> You're welcome. So today I want to talk to you about the Lake Orion Zombie Walk. Okay. So it's a really out of the box idea. I never heard of it before. How did you come up with the idea of zombies walking around downtown Lake Orion. Okay. Well, my wife and I uh, were on vacation one year and we visited one of our suppliers in Louisville, Kentucky. And, uh, you know, we started, we were talking about, um, you know, different ideas and things. And they, you know, one of the things that came out of it was they told us about a zombie walk they did in Louisville. And uh, they told me how much it grew, and they were doing their fundraiser to raise money for cancer. And so we thought, boy, what, you know, what a great idea. So when we, um, you know, came back, we kind of just filed the idea, and then we, uh, you know, came back, and my birthday was coming up, and my wife said, what do you want to do for your birthday? And I said, let's do a zombie walk. <laughs> and so. It just started there. We called some of our friends up and, um, you know, asked them if they wanted to participate. So I think the first year we maybe had like, I don't know, 25 people or something like that, which was fast because we put it together like in two weeks. And so we just, you know, it was a blast. It was basically a pub crawl. I, I told people, you know, I don't want any gifts. Don't bring a gift. But if you'd like to make a donation to the Christmas parade, you know, do that. And so that's how we started it. That's fantastic. Yeah. So how long have you been doing these zombie This will be the eighth year. The eighth year. Yes. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah, it was great. Last year was like really good, surprisingly. We weren't sure if we wanted to do one last year because of COVID and everything, but um, it worked great. We did really well. And Bill Kokinas, my wife Kathy and Bill Kokinas, uh, you know, they and Tim, another fellow on the um, Orient Area Parade Group Committee, they, you know, just help us get organized and, um, you know, help help it run smoothly. That's fantastic. So you mentioned that you donate um, all the money from the zombie walk to right. the Lake Orion Christmas Parade. Right. If you've been doing this for seven years going on to the 8th, if you had to guess, how much money do you think you've donated to the parade um, so far? I mean, you know, over the course of that time, I would imagine, you know, I don't know, a few thousand dollars, I'm sure, you know, I mean, somewhere it's around there. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. I can't even imagine how much they appreciated that money, yeah, especially with how big the Christmas parade here is right. in Lake Orion. Right. Um, so when is this year's zombie walk taking place? We we keep it the same way every year. It's the third Saturday in September, and it starts at about eight o'clock at night. Um, we ask people to show up at our store, you know, right around eight, so that we can leave. And we tell everybody, but you know, one of the you have to look like a zombie to participate, okay? And if so, and if you want to bring your kids, you can bring kids too. It's okay with us. If you if you don't you know, want to have, do the makeup, we do have a face painter that comes in and she'll do makeup for you for whatever, you know, she charges, depending on what you want. And then, um, you know, and then you'll be all set. But it's easy, you know, I mean, we have, uh, you know, we have masks, we have things like this in our store that you can get real quick and, and put on and look like a zombie, you know, or whatever, you know, or you can do the makeup thing, it's probably more comfortable to wear makeup when you're walking around because we go to several bars downtown and um, and then we end up at the American Legion at the end of the night. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's really neat. Mm -hmm. um, so I heard that there is a poker thing that okay. happens? Yeah, poker run. We added that in a, a few years ago because we wanted to keep everybody together. And um, that seemed to help keep everyone together, you know, from the beginning to the end. And so uh, a portion of that money is, you know, goes to the Christmas Parade group also. So, uh, you know, so and then when when they start off at the 
with the zombie walk, then we charge ten dollars, you know, if you want to be in the zombie walk, and then ten dollars additional for the poker run if you want to be part of that. So what exactly is a poker run? I've never heard of it before. You just, you just get a card at each stop that we go to, and then when you get to the last stop, you get a couple of cards, and then whoever has the best poker hand, uh, you know, wins half of the half of the pot on, you know, what was collected for that. Oh, that's so neat. Yeah. Yeah, I've never heard of that before, so yeah. maybe I'll have to come participate this year. <laughs> um, it's a lot of fun. Yes, it sounds like a bunch of fun. Might have to bring some extra money for that face paint, too. <laughs> Makeup's not really my forte, so. And I, I should say, too, that we start off at Fork and Pint. You know, we get a lot of cooperations from um, the restaurants downtown. We start off at the Fork and Pint. We stay there a while, then we go over to 313 Pizza, stay there a while. Then we, you know, head down Main Street and we eventually end up at the American Legion. But it's a lot of fun, you know, just uh, a lot of people watch us and I'm sure wonder what the heck's going on. And, you know, <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of people laugh at us for sure. <laughs> oh, of course. I'm sure it's amazing to see just people going yes. <laughs> down the street because, I mean, it's right. going to happen, right? It's right. zombies. So. Um, so you own a costume shop. We do. do. people tend to come in there beforehand and buy stuff to wear? Yeah, sometimes. You know, um, it's generally the weather's still nice then. And so... Um, you know, it's not like you need to wear a costume or anything like that, although some people do. Uh, you know, so, but we have things if anybody, you know, if anybody wants to pick up something real quick. Um, but a lot of people will come in ahead of time if they want to do their own face makeup and get some white and black makeup or some fake blood and things like that and, you know, do, the, do themselves up real quick. So a costume shop of all things... How did you get into that? It's not something you hear about every day. We, um, when we had the idea to do the, do the store, it initially really didn't have any costumes. It was more gifts and tobacco and things like that. And, um, but we, we focused on nostalgia merchandise, so a lot of things from the 50s and 60s. So we had people asking us for Elvis Presley things all the time. And, James Dean and Marilyn Monroe, things like that. So we said, well, maybe we should carry the costumes too. So we got into those kind of costumes first. And then, the, you know, we knew there were opportunities in the costume business and we didn't have enough merchandise to fill up all the stores. So one thing led to another and we ended up getting into costumes. Just, you know, I, I had experience from the past. Uh, in some of that type of business and my wife and I did quite a bit of research and uh, that's how we got into it. <laughs> so how long have you been running Ed's? It's about 25 years now. Wow. Has it always been in downtown Lake Orion? Yes. Right there. Yeah, there have Orion. been times when we've opened temporary Halloween stores okay. as well, but um, we haven't done that in a couple of years. So what kind of merchandise do you sell? Well, you know, Probably over half of the store is all costumes, and um, you know we have costumes that we sell children and adult, and we have uh, you know a full line of makeup, less expensive makeup and theatrical makeup, um, you know masks, Mardi Gras masks, mascot costumes that we rent, um, and then we also have nicer costumes that we rent, you know like um, period costumes. Abe Lincoln, um, Roman costumes, uh, superhero costumes, I mean, you name it, we usually have it pretty much. Yeah, just about anything you can think of. Yeah, we have a lot of costumes. Wow. That's <laughs> but we also have, we also have uh, the other half of the store, we still have toys and gifts. And oh, okay. So it's not just all costumes, but, co but costumes and accessories and things like that kind of take over. Uh, you know, September and October. Hence and after the, that, we yeah. and we do a big job with Santa suits and. Oh, okay. Those are very important. Easter bunnies, you know. So. <laughs> the whole works. Right. Yes. So, because you sell gifts and costumes, 
Ed's Broadway gift and, and costumes. costumes. That's where it came from. That's there we go. That's, that's why. <laughs> because the, the sign originally said Ed's Broadway Gift Company. Oh, okay. Um, but when we got into the costumes, we covered up company and just put and costume. <laughs> very simple fix. Right, very simple. But it worked. Yes. And now it's caught on. Yes. <laughs> and it's Ed's. Yes, it's perfect. Yep. Well, thank you for joining me today, Lloyd. You're I welcome. appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Don't forget to sign up for Ed's Zombie Walk on September 18th. You can call Ed's at 248-693-4220 to sign up. That's it for this edition of Orient Outreach. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.